spoiler alert for Game of Thrones fans. Winter is finally over, but no one is sitting on the Iron Throne. CBS's Laura Podesta <laughs> joins us now with reaction on the series finale. Laura, how are fans responding to last night's episode? Well, Russ and Karen, not well. In a word, unsatisfied. We know that one million fans, over a million fans actually, have signed a petition on change.org titled Remake Game of Thrones Season 8 with Competent Writers. So, harsh criticism there. No, there are yeah. several reasons fans are upset with the eighth and final season of Game of Thrones, but it all kind of boils down to plot holes and unanswered questions. Even with that criticism, we know that people still tuned in for the finale. Russ and Karen. Yeah, oh, yeah. I gotta admit, I'm a little disappointed with how it turned out as well. I'm hoping a movie in a couple of years will kind of set the record straight and get things back on track. Uh, Laura, yeah. first though, it was we had that cup of coffee thing. Now it appears there was another accidental item on screen. Tell us about that. I know, it happened again. This time a water bottle made an appearance. So the bottles pop up a few times over the course of several minutes. It's not a glaring mistake. Fans who captured the screenshot showed that the bottles were actually tucked behind the character's feet while they were sitting. So the coffee cup, you'll remember, was sitting on a table. That one was a little worse. Yeah, yeah that was a little more these obvious. are people. I don't know how they find these. Yeah, I didn't That's see that crazy. at all. Crazy. All right, and Laura does. I know. I think they're going yeah. like shot by shot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> these are people they with want to find way the too much time on their hands. Right. But I know that dozens, yeah. if not hundreds, of employers aren't going to be very happy this morning. Talk to I us about why. Yeah, we just got a brand new poll from the Workplace Institute at Kronos that said more than 27.2 million employees said they would watch last night and then they would either miss work completely today, arrive late or work remotely, or be less productive than usual today because of the series finale. So employees like the show, employers, <laughs> not, so <much. laughs> not so much. Not so much. Uh, uh, and although the series is over, fans still have one more thing to look forward to this weekend. Tell us about that. Yeah, this is going to drag on and on and on because there's prequels, there's spin-offs that are in the works and then yes if you did not enjoy this season there is one more chance to say goodbye to game of thrones a two-hour documentary about the making of season eight is going to air on hbo this sunday we did see a one-minute trailer for it last week that showed the characters at the final table read and uh, that included an emotional kit harrington He's apparently not the only one to break down a bit as the cast comes to grip with the ending of the show. The trailer also had some behind the scenes shots of the battles of Winterfell and King's Landing. And if that's not enough for you, HBO has at least three spin offs in the works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know if I will not be talking to my husband like it's all day Sunday, it's Monday when he catches up on all of them. Yep. I don't know if I'm ready for the, the spinoffs and stuff, but I'm definitely yeah. going to watch the documentary. Yeah, All right, Laura, cool. thanks so much. Really yeah. appreciate it.